Hey friends, Zen Kuna here, and we're gonna do a little mace play today. So I'm gonna use a variety of maces. All of the ones that I'm gonna be using are from StrongerGrip.com. I'm sort of uh, showcasing that today. The only uh, exception is this one. I'm gonna use a, a little lighter weight one that, to start off the warm up, and that's made by Mike Ricole up in Wisconsin. So uh, I'll put the uh, uh, access points uh, URLs for all of the different maces down below in the description. So take a look down there. All right, let's get started. So just do a little one-handed to get started. Lubricate up. Just thought, play around, find some areas that feel a little tight, loosen them up. Already I can feel my body just preparing for more play. All right. Let's take a look at this big boy. Fat handle, nice and short, easy to transport. Custom made when I had made by Ryan Pitts. So that's round one, the warm up. All right, friends, round two. So this one is uh, one of the Iron Gata made by uh, Ryan Pitts, and let's take it for a spin. Now this one, of course, is loaded with shot. Round two. Hey friends, so for round three, we're gonna start an exploration with this mace. It's a new one. Uh, Ryan Pitts calls it a, a wizard's mace. We call it the hand of God. That kind of looks like a hand to us. And that hand is holding a big stone. So what you see here is a mixture of steel and stone. I mean, that's pretty cool. So uh, this is my first time taking it out to uh, give it a go. 
just got it. It was a, a birthday gift. So I put some uh, athletic tape around the handle because uh, the, the handle feels a little sharp to my hand. So put that on, wanted a little bit thicker handle also. So that's why I put the tape on as well. And uh, it's an awesome piece. It's really heavy. And uh, so let's take it for a spin. I'm gonna show you what I do when I first get a new mace and it's a heavy one. All right, so one of the things to do is grab it up close to the head and then just begin to move it around a little bit. Get the feel for it where you're not using much leverage. One of the things too, as I look down at this, I can see there's more weight to this side than there is to this side. So you've got an uneven weight on a fairly long lever. So that's going to change the swing pattern and the balance pattern when you're in center line. So I, I like to know all these things before I get started. Also, spend some time with your mace upside down. Just getting used to how it swings below before it goes above. Then try and ignore the blower. 